Right, so we need, you've agreed that relative density by itself is not sufficient to explain how things will move. And what Rumpus, <clears throat> excuse me, what Rumpus is asking here is you have a medium and then a, of a certain density and then a medium surrounding that of a different density. And he's asking where it'll go. And Arwen is asking for orientation. And Rumpus is like, so you need more than just the density of the objects to figure out where it's going to go. And Arwen's telling him over and over and over, yeah, I need orientation. So my question to Rumpus would be, on a ball, which way would that shit go? Okay? And look what Rumpus does. Oh, it is. No, it isn't. No, 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 it is. It is. You no, it isn't. Moron. No, you Owen, moron, Owen, Rumpus. Owen. It is. It's Owen. efficient. Owen, no, you either have... Ball, the direction is not relevant Owen. to the setup of the... Experiment, Look, Arwen. Just because Rumpus can't understand your relative density theory doesn't mean he's a moron. Jeez. It is. Uh, Arwen, you, you don't know. seem to understand. If we've got the relative density, which means that I've got the density of one and the density of the other, that's well defined. Now you're saying you either are saying you need more information or you don't, and you seem to be switching. You're not being explicit the here. Functioning of the setup. It's just I need an orientation. Normally, right. when you do a you physical need... experiment in the right. real world, you automatically have that orientation. Right, but you have to. If you do the representation, you don't, you dickhead. So you yeah. do Rumpus, need Why don't you try an example like like? In Arwen's behalf, Rumpus, this has been going on for about ten minutes. R <clears throat> Arwen asking him over and over for an orientation, and then it comes down to the end. And Rumpus, I'm just waiting on Arwen to say, you know, how would it work on a, on a ball? How would it work on a ball? You still, you need an orientation, you know, whether it be toward the center of that ball. Whether it be, it's just one of their parlor tricks, people. It's one of their parlor tricks to say, so you need more information than relative density. Yeah, well, you need an orientation for gravity. You need to know the, where the ball is to go to the center of it, right? It's just one of their parlor tricks. You should be able to see that there's a dirty great so there it is. In there. And you should become aware, hopefully in all the little brain, that you need right. Now involved here. There it is. He draws he draws in his ball. So and I, I can't believe Arwen didn't catch on to that. But on the spot, I guess I can understand, but it's it's a parlor trick, man. So you put that ball out in the middle of nowhere and ask where where would it go? Where would gravity? And they'd have to know where the ball is. They'd have to know their orientation compared to the ball. That's the whole point. Steam material. But you have to have this direction. You have to have a force. Things only move with forces. You have to have a force to cause movement by definition. Yeah, yeah that's right. right. You know, you have to have a force. Things only move with forces to displace the lower density material. But you have to have this direction. You have to have a force. Things only move with forces. You have to have a force to cause movement by definition. Yeah, yeah that's right. right. So by definition, by definition, you have to have a force. Things only move with force. He's made that crystal clear, right? Of the gas, of the gas, or yeah, the molecule. So I can't or move something with heat. Can I move something with heat, Rumpus? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. There's a fucking point. No, it's can not. I move, move something with heat? Can I move something with heat, Rumpus? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. There's a fucking point. No, it's can not. Ta-da.